Hey, this is Surfline forecaster Kevin Wallace with a special water temp update for Hawaii and California. Water temps have been abnormally warm over the past couple of weeks, and we've actually seen a number of all-time high temperature readings recorded on sea dip buoys across the Pacific. In some cases, historical data goes all the way back to the early 80s, including multiple strong El Nino events, and recent water temps have even exceeded what we saw in those historical years. For many areas in Northern California, water temps have been hovering in the mid-60s with isolated pockets of warmer water, particularly down through the Central Coast. Southern California has been downright tropical of late, with many areas in the mid-70s, some areas into the upper 70s, and even a few select breaks flirting with the 80-degree mark. Moving over to Hawaii, the water has been sultry and almost uncomfortable, with temps in the mid-80s actually threatening the state's iconic reef system with damage from coral bleaching. The primary reason for warm water is the current strong El Nino event, which is most of the eastern Pacific up to a few degrees warmer than normal. However, El Nino isn't the only cause for abnormal sea surface temps. For both California and Hawaii, we've also seen long stretches of light wind combined with hotter than normal air temps of late. During light wind days, upwelling, which acts to cool surface waters, is limited and water temps will typically increase. Going forward, we expect sea surface temps to generally remain above normal as we move through the next few months. Please note that doesn't mean we'll see water temps in the 70s for California this winter, but we can reasonably expect them to be a few degrees warmer than average for that time of year. For daily updates on local water temps, keep an eye on the Surfline reports, and we'll see you out in the water.